How's everyone going? How you doing? Welcome back to back to arcade, where we play video games and shit and do other things. Update: My wife has finally gotten a Stanley Cup. Not the not the hockey one, but um um. Oh, that's Stanley shit. Go big. Can I get Stanley? There's not an endorsement for Stanley. They're not a sponsor. Let me show you what this is crazy motherfucker my wife got. So, um, she got a whole fucking holder. Like, look at this shit. Like, What's she under here? Oh, she got that box. Anyway, um, it has a freaking Hello. purse. Hello. Yeah, hey. Has another um pocket there. Okay, um, whole conversation going on in the background. Like I'm not doing a live right now. Right. Um, so yeah, she puts a phone in here. She holds it like this. And look, look, look. Her um, her Stanley comes with a fucking Stanley. Look at that shit. See that? Okay. Isn't that crazy? And um, then she also got. This ice mold that makes a big round cylinder piece of ice that falls directly, perfectly into the actual family. Should be all digging, but I got camp front. Yo, how long does shit stay cold for? Like three days? Two days? Two, for two days, the drink staying fucking mad cold. So she got that right, and then I got my fucking hydro flask that had no fucking handle that came off. My straw is like fucking jets. Oh, you're choking? Need your water? Is just down there. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, she has a handle, a holster, and a gang of her fucking sisters. I have this shit. Slips on my fucking hands. It's crazy. But, um, that's, yeah, that's, isn't that crazy? So, she, uh, she definitely did her thing with that Stanley. And she got more, you got more accessories coming? She says she doesn't, but I'm sure as soon as she finds more shit, she'll get one. So, you have a couple of things set up for us today. That we're gonna look at or react to. Um, one's by Antarctica, another one's gonna be like the hood in, 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 in Europe, in, um, in Britain. I've been seeing a lot of reaction by America and stuff, like from Brits. So I'm like, yo, I want to see enough of the reverse, like us, you know, asking questions about their shit. So I'm gonna do that. And then we got another one about, um, I guess, the smallest city or some shit like that. So we got all that set up. And we're gonna make it for night tonight. And um, I still haven't put up my alarm, nor have I gotten the battery yet. And it sits on my desk, you fuck out about, and I look at it every day. Yeah, oh, so I'm gonna get into like bonsai stuff. So I got a bonsai tree, like kit, but it takes mad long for it to grow. It takes time to get it like, going, but I do want to kind of fuck with it and see. So I got that there too. My desk is a royal mess. If you guys can really see my fucking desk is insane. It's too small for the other shit I have on it. And, uh, now this is beginning. Let's get on the, let's tour the smallest city. Or the, the British city. Let's do that. 
All right. Let's go to boom. Get things going here. And uh Welcome to Stoke on Trent. A city that if any city ever did deserves the title post industrial wasteland. It's a unification of six towns about halfway between Birmingham and Manchester. And look at the state of it, folks. Everywhere I go, boarded up shops and just desolation. Stoke, very much rose to prominence, center of the pottery industry in the UK. But in the last few decades, that industry has been in heavy decline due to cheap foreign imports. Consequently, it's quite a deprived place to say the least. A quarter of a million people live in the Stoke area, yet I'm walking around what is generally considered to be the center of Stoke, Hanley, and there are a few people around for what you would expect being the central shopping area of a city that size. Half the shops are boarded up, and most people I've spoke to seem pretty miserable. So yeah, let's take a walk around Stoke today. I'll show you the he said most people are miserable, but isn't that just a regular Brit? Most Brits are like miserable looking at the depressed and shit. So they always say we're too fucking happy and too nice. Or we're too loud with our clothing and of choice and shit like that. But the place is fucking dirty as fuck too though. You have a state that the city is in. We'll see if we can meet any locals and see what they think about their city, Stoke-on-Trent in 2023. Let's go. Jesus Christ, you ready? What's life like in Stoke? Oh, brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, what about all the boarded up shops? It's, it's probably... Fuck, yeah, I don't know, fuck it. Don't bother you. Yeah, it's a pub good. Probably brilliant. I think he's had one too many, folks. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah. Are you picking him up? Or? I don't know. Shut the door for me. Yeah, yeah. He told me to shut the door, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you going with him, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a wild place. Hanley High Street on a Friday afternoon. I'm filming me, look. Monkey Dust Capital. Monkey Dust Capital? Yeah. If you look at all the homeless around here, mate, they're all... Monkey Dust. What's Monkey Dust? It's a synthetic drug. Yeah, like spice. Yeah. Yeah. Hanley, where even the town hall is for sale. Sorry, mate, just filming the town hall. <laughs> I think that motherfucker was in some monkey dust. I guess that's monkey dust. Shit. It's fucked up. A lot of people in Stoke that are hanging around in doorways and are seen to be living the street life, whether they're homeless, I'm not sure. But there's definitely a lot of drugs on the streets in Stoke. One pint of your finest, please, barman. Certainly, coming right up. There we go, sir. You wouldn't be kind enough to share the Wi-Fi code as well, would you? Of course. The network is pub Wi-Fi, and the password is dodgy123. That sounds sinister. It's a good job I use NordVPN to keep myself safe when I use public Wi-Fi, and that's why I recommend you should do too. Exploring the real Britain, I travel around a lot. Networks in convenient public locations to harvest users' data. <coughs> <laughs> Isn't available in that region? Simply choose the relevant region from the drop down list and you can back to the video. There's nothing to do around here. Nothing? Nothing at all. So, do you pass your days? Well, you're on my own again. There's nothing around here. Do you go to any of like the local pubs or anything? Are any of the pubs good? Or? No, no pubs because it's too dear. Yeah. I mean, you're paying four pounds for a pint. Four pounds now, yeah. Like you can get. Four of them for two pounds. Yeah, so you're just drinking Pepsi at the moment? 
Yeah. Yeah. And to be there, like, there's nothing around here at all. When the bodies were going, there's a lot of work about it. You don't have anywhere. Now, everybody's on the door. Yeah. There's no work about I spoke to quite a few people today and they, they are all seem quite down in the dumps. They say that they're bored oh, and right. that there's not a lot of opportunity. There's nothing to do with it around here. No. All, no. The, all that I do is sit here. That's a shame, mate, yeah. Have you got any family? My wife's dead and like my lord has got kids. Yeah. So I don't bother them. Yeah. Because they had a hard life and their mother was alive. How long ago did your wife die? Ten years now, so why? Felt a bit like on your own since then. Yeah. 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 I give myself to myself. Nobody bothers me, I don't bother them. Nice, peaceful, easy life, yeah. Well, that's it, yeah, that's what I like. I've seen a few people around that yeah. seem to be like quite high on drugs and things like that. Do you think it's dangerous in the town centre now? Or? Well, uh, I don't trust the drugs. Clay's been an alcoholic one time. And the doctor said to me, if you keep drinking like that cider, you'll be dead before you know it. You know? That was more you. I was about 40 then. Now I'm 70, now, 75 now. Yep. But since I've been up to drink, I've decided my life's very easy and I have no problems. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I just keep going and that's it. Yeah. So you'd recommend to anybody that's drinking too much that they can move their yeah. life around if they well, drink less? The drink inside, the, the saints are a good drink, but it used to make me violent. Did it? Yeah. yeah. I can't imagine that now, sitting here with you. Well, you're the most peaceful man I've met all day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you turned, uh, you used to turn quite violent when you had a lot of cider. Well, no cider, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't let nobody cook me and be going. Really? Oh, yeah. You could pick a fight with yourself in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Well, I used to be a bugger tater. I mean, I've done jails, I've done board schools, preschools. I've done all that things. And I was about, about to say, I've been in trouble now for 10 years. OK, good man. Yeah. So you've lived quite a colourful life. Oh, I, I've been everywhere, mate. Right? Yeah. I've been in school, Liverpool Prison, Walton. I've done that. I've done Preston Prison. I've done Stafford. What? One down Bristol, one down Bristol area. I've been all over. So you spent quite a bit of time in prison as well? Yeah. 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 And you think that was drinking the cider that That's what, uh, what led you into those bad it, situations? Yeah. 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 What sort of what sort of charges did were you in for? That was a vehicle. Okay, mate, yeah. I just go robbing houses. Not the poor I just got the big estates. There I just go. They got money. So I was going places. I was doing business around there. But I don't see that was years ago. I packed all that out now. Done your time for your crime. Learned your lessons, oh, you I think, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Keep yourself to yourself. Well, that's the best way. It's, it's nothing to be proud of. But... Now, do you feel bad about those things looking back now? Benefit of hindsight? Yeah, because uh, when I see these younger people now, they're on drugs and all that. They don't go with I've tried to tell them, but they don't listen. Yeah, if I should listen to anyone, I should listen to someone like you as well. Someone that's walked in there, yeah. in the shoes they're now walking in. You got any life advice for you? Obviously, you've lived such an eventful life. Have you got any life advice for anybody that might watch the video? Relax, and do the life you take. Yeah. Because you're a long time dead. You are, mate, yeah. There's no coming back at all. No, there's not, mate. Uh, yeah. That's how I am now. Yeah, good man. Yeah, thanks for talking to me, Joseph. Right. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, yeah. I, everybody that I bump into, I always sit and have a conversation because you can always learn one thing from every person you yeah, meet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said they don't bother me, I don't bother them because they know what I was in the time. So you've got a bit of a reputation around yeah, here, have you? Yeah, yeah. So they've put up this really cool board which is called the face of Stoke-on-Trent, this um, like exhibition. And it's all the different faces of the people that live here. But even this 
has been vandalised. Yeah. They've ripped off some of the pictures and it looks a right state. Very grim, very depressing. You know a town's in a bad way when it can't even keep its cash converters open. Hard times in Stoke. Have you got any opinions for the camera about what life's like in Stoke? Shares? Yeah, I want. Why do you say that? I've seen the place. <laughs> I have, yeah. You just see it's all getting arrested. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did I just miss it, did I? Yeah. yeah. It's been there. Uh, yeah. Prime yeah. content. Jesus Christ. This is the town centre, the shopping precinct of a city of 250,000 people in the conurbation. A quarter of a million people. But look how dead it is. Just a handful of people walking around the town square. Nothing um, good about Stoke. Nothing about Stoke at all. No, it's it's unless, you, unless you want to make some smack heads and crackheads, it'll be all right. I think everybody does it to, to themselves. Everybody, you know, everybody's got an addiction, everybody's got thing, but that doesn't mean you have to be horrible to people. If you've got a good art, you'll always win in the end. That's all I can say. Good man. All the best, mate. The best way to explore Fort Lauderdale. On the water, just steps away from the beach. Room with a view. I've been in Hanley for a couple of hours now, and I can genuinely say that I think the Reginald Mitchell, the Weatherspoons, is probably the best thing in town. It's actually quite a nice Weatherspoons. Palm trees outside. Yeah, but that says a lot about Hanley. What's Stoke like in 2023? I'm walking around, there's a lot of boarded up shops. Yep. What's the vibe in the town? Not very good, bros. I think it's like the council's trying to get the people. Oh, let me turn this off, sorry. Yeah, that's just probably good for the camera. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but you're all mic'd up. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's, it's every set we go to a lot of towns and places, and where, wherever we go, Anley or Stoke on Trent's no different at the most of the places. All the shops are being boarded up. And you'd think you'd, you might give the retailers a bit of a break by the, the the price, drop the price a bit like, but they don't seem to. I think it's just it's just how the world is, full of greed at the minute. Stoke-on-Trent is a bit of a shit tip. Everything's just... I've stopped caring. Everything's just thrown out on the streets. Shops boarded up and the people that live here Seem to have given up on the town. Very, very sad. This was a club, yeah? What have you got to rip out all the flooring, everything? Yeah. Strip it down to the bare bones and then probably flats, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything in this town is just like this. <laughs> Leveling up Stoke on Trent. It can't come soon enough, to be honest. I thought I'd tie up my video in the nicest part of Hanley, but I could find Hanley Park. Isn't it wonderful? It's definitely the most pleasing on the eye part of this very grim town centre, Hanley. Now, I'm sure a lot of people in the comments, they're going to write and say, Wendell, you've been unfair on the area. It's got lots going for it. I know that it's got the Staffordshire University. That's quite important to the town. I'm sure it's got some other things going for it that I haven't stumbled across. But I'm just giving my first impressions and coming here, visiting this declining post-industrial town or city, I should say. It doesn't really feel like a city. Hanley is a depressing place. It's really grim and it's not pleasing on the eye, and a lot of the people that I spoke to, they were not positive about their lives here, and about the town in general. So I can only say it as I see it, folks. Hanley definitely is a town that seems to have lost hope.